Welcome to another short video from Preact, and in today's video, we're just going to show you how your users can add and join Teams meetings from appointments in your model driven apps. Let's take a look. Okay, so how do we enable this? Um, you simply come into the Power Platform Admin Center, find your environment, click Settings, Expand Products, click on the Features option, and you can see the new Teams feature is on the left hand side. If I just scroll down here, under Collaboration, you can see this little toggle here for end users can add and join Teams meetings from appointments in model driven apps. That needs to be set to yes. So just need to flick that toggle and then click save on your changes. So once you've done that, if you just create a new appointment in Dynamics or your model driven app, um, obviously fill out all the details, you'll see this new additional Teams meeting toggle. So all you need to do is set this to yes. Um, obviously set your time and date and fill out any other details you can do. Um, what you'll also find as well by turning this feature on is we've now got rich text editing on the description as well. So you can see there's a, a few more things that we can do, you know, in terms of, you know, uh, changing what might come out in this description, you know, you can adjust that using the rich text editor on there. Um, but it's as simple as turning that on. Um, and then obviously once you save this, you'll then see it will give you the link. So because we've said, yes, this is now a Teams meeting and it's not a physical face-to-face, -face, once this is saved, you can see you get the little link there into the Teams meeting. You've also got the ability to click on that from the ribbon at the top as well. We just go ahead and click Join Teams meeting from this appointment. Let's just open this in the browser. You can see this will take me straight into my Teams meeting. So really powerful, you know, um, this wasn't uh, enabled before. We would always be able to create something in Teams and you know put that in our Outlook and then it would end up in Dynamics. This now gives us the ability to do it the other way around. So we can set this from Dynamics and it will create the Teams meeting for us. So if you liked what you saw today, please feel free to get in touch with us. If you've got any questions regarding these features, like this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to the Preact YouTube channel if you want to see more videos about Dynamics 365 and the Power Platform in the future.